April and May. Yay! And we're knocking everything down too, Tar but that's okay. Tara's gonna get started. That's because Tara wants to show you her favorite. Is this? It's a little busy board for babies. She likes it too, so it's a win-win um, kind of situation. What do you think? I got that for you. Yeah. Here, Molly. This is my monthly favorite. Do you want to block this shape? I want the peanut butter m and <laughs> Of course. Peanut butter m and it is. I had a birthday in the month of May, and I got two two-pound bags of peanut butter m and and Molly is going to eat them all. <laughs> you can have one. Good job. This was what a brand new Tara? bag when we started. Uh, Tara actually opened it herself. And I told her to give Mama one, but she just popped herself she one. She ate one herself. They are my favorite, I'm obsessed, I have a problem. I might need to seek treatment. Possibly. Again. <laughs> Again, yeah, really. May I? You get one. <laughs> We're rationing her um, peanut butter. Okay, food. good job, Bali. Here you go. Thanks. Alicia? We had a lot of food today, so we're gonna do like a food mukbang, and obviously Bali chose first, but <laughs> That's water. You thirsty? Another fabulous monthly favorite that I got is this water bottle. It is half a gallon. <laughs> Tara loves it. See? It's Good great. Job. Water. Hydrate. <laughs> Stay hydrated, people! I'm going to put it down here now, so. <sighs> All right. Let's talk about one of everyone's monthly favorites. We just got these recently at the Myrtle Beach Safari. They are new hoodies that we are selling if you guys would like one. But they're my favorite because the bottom doesn't scrunch in at the waist. It lays flat. Molly, wanna put your sweatshirt on? Yeah. Wah -ha. Oh, you gotta put the arms and sleeves. Arms and sleeves, where's your head? Here, I'll help you. Oh, nope, this is where your head goes. Oh, good job. Oh, you missed an arm. You missed an arm, buddy. Good job! Look at how handsome you are! And push. <laughs> Good job, baby. Good job. What else you got, Alicia? Tara's got a spoon. You know what that spoon is for? Chia seed pudding! This is fabulous. I recently changed my diet and so I started eating chia seed pudding and Tara thinks it's delicious. <laughs> We're getting to those, buddy. We're getting to those. Sometimes babies have a hard time moving on to solid food, but Tara decided that this stuff was just fantastic. It's only chia seeds, oat milk, and bananas. We'll get Molly a bigger bite because he's a big boy. Mm -hmm. oh. Chia seeds down! That's okay. Tara wants chia seeds too. Mmm. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh, you wanna get that? We made a mess, but you can clean it. Good job. Does Alicia wanna try? Yes. Scrumptious and healthy. <laughs> that means you think it's delicious? It's actually pretty good. Especially for it to not have isn't it like no added sugars and it's all no natural? No added sugars, all natural. It's just bananas, chia seeds, a little bit of cinnamon, and oat milk. I think it's bad. Cinnamon makes everything taste sweet, which is just simply fabulous. Okay, let's go to more health food. <laughs> so these are keto cardboard cereal. Um, just kidding. I don't think it tastes like cardboard. <laughs> And I Instagram made me buy it, but I got the chocolate and peanut butter. <laughs> seeing a trend here, um, so let's see how Bali likes these ones versus the bad one. Here, Bali, look. Oh, look, look. <laughs> these ones versus the bad ones. Well, versus not the bad ones. These ones versus the peanut butter M and M's, obviously. Oh. He's, He's eating them, so they must be scrumptious and delicious. Tara's got her spoon again. Bali, which ones do you like more? Um, I would have to say that I he think the chocolate, the ones, chocolate ones are the best. I agree, Volley. I really do. <laughs> yeah, those are good. Mm. Oh, the peanut butter one. Okay, mixing it up, mixing it up. Fabulous. Oh, oh, oh these are good. My favorite. 
favorites, which are these. They're fabulous cargo tights. Always looking for cargo pants and wonderful tights, and I got both in the same go. These are from a company called Firm Abs. I know, Firm Abs. But it is a workout company, and the best thing about these, not only are they stylish. What? Cardboard. <laughs> I, need, I need some water, excuse me. <laughs> but they're squat proof. Now you know, lots of tights say they're squat proof, but these actually are, so win. So, also for my birthday, I got a hat. We like hemlock hats. Um, it has a tiger on it, isn't that cool? My dad got it for um, me, he's a monkey's uncle. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Lolly, here oh. you go. We'll get to those. You wanna wear this hat? I got this hat. Oh, that's how you do it? Here, I'll help you. We got one for Tara. She wants to try one on also. Why do you like these so much? Oh yeah, because they have tigers on the inside. And it's 50 SPF, which is even cooler. And it also has a tiger on the outside. Oh, burps. Wow, that was, that was smooth. Let's go. Hey, Tara, do you want to try one? No. <laughs> Here, Tara, we brought you one. All right, bar, please. All right, spark blues. That's what Wally says. All right. Tara doesn't want to play with a hat. That's new. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Tara loves hats. She's always stealing Doc Antle's hats and putting them on. Good boy. Uh, Ooh, is that hot and job. spicy in here? Ooh. Hey, you want a cookie? He's on. These are my other favorite. These are weightlifting gloves. They're pretty cool. Um, a lot of times I lift heavier weights when I'm doing like deadlifts and things like that. And it makes my wrist hurt. And so this actually does a really good in the support. And all it does is you slide your fingers in and you wrap your wrists and it's very cool looking. Do you want to try one? Can you put your hand in there? Oh, I don't think that's going to fix your hand. You're going to need extra, extra large. Come on, put that in there. This finger goes here. This finger goes here. That finger goes there. Down there. Good job. Oh, almost got it. In case you guys are wondering, chimpanzee fingers do not bend the same way as ours. They're kind of in a permanent bend because they walk on their knuckle all the time. And that's where your thumb goes. Good job, and now we wrap the wrist. Yeah! Muscle bound! Give me a high five! High five with your foot. Boom! Yeah, hit it! Yeah! I have a bag <laughs> full of things. These are face things to help you be beautiful. Um, it's from Bad Habit, which is Morphe's um, skincare brand. And um, this stuff, which is called Bad Habit. Mm, acai nightly cleansing gel is um it's you put it on and you take your makeup off and you just rub it all over your face and your makeup goes off and you rinse it and it's amazing so that's great but Bali doesn't have any makeup on um <laughs> daily moisturizer and it's when it says when breakfast is a bag of chips you still have our vitamins <laughs> true this one says you can't wash away those 2 a.m texts but you should still wash your face which is a matcha mint wake things up. Um, and this is, you might run into your ex tomorrow, so wake up looking your brightest. Power sleep melatonin glycolic night cream. And this is the one we're gonna put on Bali because it's gonna calm his, his skin. <laughs> you can't eat it. <laughs> What's it taste like? Rubbing it, rubbing it in. Tara needs some on her, on her feet. Oh. Tara oh, says I how want some. Your face is. Look at you. You want me to put it on your feet? Oh, did you get too far? All right. So now it is time to uh, I need cookies. <laughs> <laughs> These are actually protein cookies. I know you guys have seen me talk about them before when they had the big complete um, cookie, which was like one big cookie and it was soft. These are crunchy, and I actually feed these to Bali because he really likes them. They have 12 grams of protein per six cookies. That's how you get strong. Mmm. Why do you try to take them from me? 
Oh, you're really grumpy. He's gonna get the camera. You're really grumpy. Oh, he thinks it's delicious. What you doing there, Tara? Playing with her spoon. That's Tara's monthly favorite, in case anybody was wondering. She just realized what utensils were for. All right, what else we got? We got your palmini, balmini, balmini. Oh yeah, palmini, this is great. You guys have heard me talk about this before. It's like linguini, or they made noodles. And now, they make rice. So it's fantastic. There's only 60 servings. I mean, sorry, bye. Sorry, bye. There's, only, yeah. there's three servings in this whole package, but they're only 20 calories a piece, which means this whole package is only 60 calories, which it makes it a low calorie meal and delicious. Yeah. Delicious. Okay, I guess we can give him what Let's he wants. Let's give him this protein bar. All right. This is a protein bar. It's an RX bar. It's full of great things. It's got no BS in it. I says it right on the package. No BS. It's dates and egg whites. And um, this is the best one, I think. I think it's delicious. Started eating these because, like I said, I changed my diet recently. <laughs> and we can't stay away from sugar as much Tara as Tara is ready to work out. <laughs> these are fitness bins. <laughs> Do you, what would you, what do you, you say you like use them to squat? Like, what, what, is, what do you, how do you utilize That's what you do. You put them on your legs and you squat with them. You do lunges with them. They're to help make that peach get bigger. That peach. Molly. Everybody knows what a peach is these days. Would you like to try on a peach builder? Yo, I'm eating my protein Here. bar that I've been looking for. Mm -hmm. oh. Tars being helpful. No, this is for your legs. I guess you could use it for your arms. Yeah, try it. It's not easy. Here, buddy, just try it. Mm. Oh, wow, you're way better at it. <laughs> He's like, I got my cookie. Good I'm job. Set. And then we got another Tara favorite, and mine, just in case anybody's wondering. It's a new baby sling. Oh, Tara's helping. Now, the reason I like it is because it's got padding for your shoulder, so you can put it on your neck, and it doesn't hurt as much. But Tara likes it because it actually gives her room to maneuver so she can turn sideways. Or turn around all around and see what's going on in the world instead of just looking at mom yeah we got one last thing before um, movies books, books, books and movies yep and it's this <laughs> smart scale so this tells you muscle mass BMI weight water weight bone density um, very viscous uh -huh. little fat, which is what's around your organs, all kinds of things. Um, it just sends like a little <laughs> through your body and does it. We are going <laughs> to have Volley try it because I want to know what a chimp is versus a human. <laughs> it is. Whew. Oh, <laughs> he just clapped with his foot. Books, TV shows, and movies. What TV shows did you watch? I watched. I watched Shameless. I ended this season, the whole series. So good. I love Shameless. It is an <laughs> over 18 show. It, um, recklessness and just fabulous train wrecks. It's great. Also, I watched Selena, which is about the singer that was um, killed and her. La Bamba, la Bamba, la Bamba, la Bamba. That's her song, and what's that other song she's saying? You know. You know, it's like. I don't know. That didn't help at all. Okay. <laughs> and then I watched Ginny in Georgia, which was absolutely fabulous. Um, very cute. I can't wait for the next series. I really want to know the name of that song, so I'm going to look it up so you talk about what you want to do. You look it up. I'm going to talk to you about The Irregulars, which is all about how um, a group of kids worked for Sherlock Holmes. Supposedly, it really happened in the stories. What? Yeah. You didn't tell me about this show. Yeah, The Irregulars. Sherlock Holmes and Watson hired some kids to do some investigating for them. And they worked for Sherlock Holmes, and it's based on parts of the story that don't always get told. I, she did not tell me about this. Anyway, it was good. Could have been better, in my opinion, but it was good. 
Um, and Jupiter's Legacy, which everybody knows, is another superhero um, TV show on Netflix that stars Josh Dumal. Gotta check it out. It's really good. Oh, and one more thing. The Mandalorian. That's what molly has been watching because you all know that he loves the child. In case everybody doesn't know what who the child is, you gotta watch it. Um, but he's been checking that out too. We've been going on adventures with the Mandalorian. Dreaming of you. No, don't know that song. <sighs> Sorry, I'm bad with songs. You have to play it for me. I would sing it for you, but I cannot remember. Every spoon down, babe. All the spoons. Here's another one. I. Oh, okay. Speaking of songs, China. Yes. What is the only artist I've been listening to for the last two months? Machine Gun Kelly. That is all I've listened to. MGK, if you're out there, come visit Myrtle Beach Safari. Volley would love to meet you. Bring Megan Fox. Come on, let's go. Oh, I forgot. One more thing that Volley's been watching is Age of Big Cats, which tells the entire story of the big cats traversing across the world. Um, and how they had, they lived, some of them lived at the same time as Saber Two Tigers and the other name of the big cat that I can't remember the name of. Simmerlin. Similadon. The Similadon. And it's very cool. Volley loves that. He actually hoots and claps um, for some of the big cats because you actually see them take down kills and things like that. So that was really cool and it's extraordinary because you don't actually realize how extraordinary big cats are until you see them in motion. Well, that's mine. Get Tara. Okay, I did watch some movies. I watched some great ones, not some great ones, but I'm only going to talk about the great ones. Um, I did watch um, Wonder Woman 1984 with Volley. He really loves the fight scene with Cheetah and Wonder Woman, so you guys should check it out. Um, and I watched. Oh, I watched um, the Tom Clancy um, Amazon video um, Without Remorse that stars Michael B. Jordan, which was really good. It's very much like the Jack Reacher shows, which is also Tom Clancy. And Volley wants to take his sweatshirt off. Go ahead, show him how you take it off. Ugh, good job, buddy. Good job, good job. It's a little hot in here. Oh, oh, and I watched Nobody, which I couldn't own, and I really want to because you can only rent it right now. Um, but it's a really good movie all about a hitman who tries to have a normal life and he gets sucked back into his old life. Check it out, it's good. I forgot I like something else. Oh yeah. These. <laughs> she got these for her birthday. Yeah, these are my birthday. Your slippers, you wanna put some slippers on, Bob? She's like, uh, I would like to chew on The hyena hair. thinks they are a other hyena. Here, here, put that on. Put that on. Put that on, put that on. Oh yeah, good job. You want to put the other one on? Put that one on. Oh yeah, you can stand up and do it. Well, put that on. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Oh, good boy. All right, now this one. Oh, good boy. Look how stylish you are. <laughs> good boy, good boy. Did you watch any movies? We're upside down. Yeah, no, hopefully it doesn't film that way. <laughs> um. <laughs> No, I don't think I watched any movies. I can't watch movies. My attention span is too short. <laughs> Except for 18 seasons of Shameless. It, over like seven years. <laughs> and the Gilmore Girls for the 47th time. But, but that's only 50 minutes. A whole movie, I'm like, 50 minutes later, I'm asleep. <laughs> All right, what books did you read? Oh, wait, wait, don't the, smash the, phone. the Ballad of Songbird and Snakes, which is a prequel to Hunger Games. Um, it's President Snow's story, which was very mor morbid. It was good. It was really good if you are into the Hunger Games series. I was, I read the, all three books in one week. Um, I would highly advise that. <laughs> what? See, sometimes she'll read a huge amount of books and sometimes you'll just get one book out. Of okay, it. that was when I was in college and I was midterms and I completely was procrastinating on studying for midterms so I read the books. That's what it is. Oh, okay. Procrastination was involved. You said you read two books. Yep. Um, while well, she's looking that up, I read some books. Um, I read The Rose Code, which was really good. It was all about um, the women that went to work during the war effort to break codes in the Germans and the French to save our troops. 
Um, and I read, oh, I love Alistair Reynolds. He's a great um, sci-fi writer because he is an actual PhD astrophysicist. Yeah, Tara! writes sci-fi and he wrote um, two books called the pre one's called the prefix and one's called Elysium fire and it was really good it was all about a bunch of different habitats orbiting in space around a centralized planet and what was going on with them Alistair Reynolds won the awards the Hugo and Nebula award for sci-fi um, and so you know they got to be good and they were. They're great. I love all of his books. Chasm City is probably my favorite one that he ever wrote. Hi. I read The Last Train to Key West, which was about the hurricane in 1935 that what? took out the train tracks in Key West. Um, it was a love story. It was written by Celeste something. <laughs> we'll figure it out. No worries. I'll put it down in the description down below. bar. Um, I've read two of her other books. I'm really bad with names, okay? But I remember the story. It was great. Um, it was a love story. It was cute. If you like the history. I didn't actually know it was a real thing um, until I looked it up after I read the book and was like, she usually writes about like real life historical events. This is weird that she didn't do that. And someone said, you should Google it. And I was like, ha, you're right. And I did, and it was real. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, oh, I read one other book. Hi, buddy. Um, for all of those who are Joe Abercrombie fans, and? Um, there's a book out called A Crown for Cold Silver. It's very reminiscent of Joe Abercrombie, all about betrayal, going on marches, going to battle, and all the magic and sorcery that goes into that. I, didn't, I, I read no more books, just two. One a month, that's my homework. <laughs> That's what I've been told. I, I type out a book report at the end. It's fine. China gets it in her inbox. It's in your inbox, by the way. Okay. And just in case you guys are all, 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 all and just in case you guys are wondering, of course, Molly's favorite is always Tara. Chimps love chimps. They love to hang out with each other and they love to explore new things. And as you can see, he can't let go of her because they love to wrestle and he loves to hang out with her. Um, oh yeah, by the way. The sweatshirt that Wally was wearing, like we said, it is now available um, at the Myrtle Beach Safaris. And we're going to leave it down in the description bar if you guys are interested in purchasing your own. Yeah, buy Myrtle Beach Safari merch. These shirts, that hoodie. We also got a bunch of other merch um, it, that is in the description bar that you guys can purchase. So you guys can be swagger like the chimp boys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. so you don't miss a video. And of course, we have new videos out every week. Keep looking back for them. We are constantly here. Bali's constantly here. Tara doesn't leave China. So keep watching. And of course, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.